It's the ideal meal. Three important food groups in a single savory pie. Such eloquence, such perfection, could only have been created in the birthplace of classical art, Italy. But a gastronomical mystery is about to unfold. Is pizza really Italian? I'll bet no one knows more about pizza than this guy. Scott Wiener lives and breathes pizza. He writes about it and leads historical pizza tours through the heart of New York City. According to my definition, a bagel cut horizontally with tomato sauce and cheese, the pizza bagel, is not a pizza. I love pizza, first of all, because it's delicious. But maybe most importantly, is it's a common language. You can't get into a conversation about art or politics or religion with anybody, but pizza, it's a definite. Pizza may be a universal language, but that doesn't mean we're all in agreement as to its origins. It's a debate that goes back to ancient Persia, now modern-day Iran. The exact origin of pizza is unclear, but one of the popular stories is that Persian soldiers used to bake flatbreads using the heat of the sun on their shields in between battles. Tomatoes didn't arrive in Europe until the 16th century, so the Persians didn't have any. What's a pizza without a sauce? That's where the Italians come in. The transition from flatbreads to pizza, the modern pizza, is really weight on top of the dough. And one of the most obvious forms of weight on top of the dough is the tomato. Great minds were changing the world at the dawn of the Renaissance. In Italy, inspired geniuses flourished in service of their art. Mamma mia! No, I don't mean da Vinci. They were pizza artists in Naples. The tomato that was brought in in the 16th century to southern Italy was thought to have been poisonous because the only people who could afford this new little import were the wealthy people, the aristocrats. And they would eat the tomato with a fork and knife, which were made from pewter and silver. And that pewter and silver would tarnish, making them sick. That's why everybody thinks they're poisonous. Of course, they're not poisonous at all. It's very safe to eat them. And in fact, it's all of Italian cuisine in our American eyes has to do with the tomato. But the people of Naples eventually figured out that tomatoes were not poisonous, just delicious. Their saucy pizzas became so popular, the Queen of Italy, Margherita of Savoy, even summoned a Neapolitan chef to bake her a pizza pie. He adorned it with Italy's colors, red sauce, white mozzarella, and green basil. She loved it. And we're still eating pizza margarita today. The first pizzeria in the United States was supposedly right here in downtown New York City, Lombardi's, where a man named Gennaro Lombardi sold his pizza to workers on their lunch breaks. He baked his pies in a coal oven, just as they did back in Italy. Lombardi's was probably the first to do this, but several others started to pop up. Pizza spread around for three main reasons. It's portable, it's cheap, and it's delicious. So is pizza an Italian creation? Well, the ancient Persians may have baked the first crust with toppings, but the Italians layered it with sauce, and that made all the difference. Today, nothing seems as American as pizza. From the heart of Chicago's deepest dish to the singed edge of New York's crispiest crust, America has made pizza her own. As a nation, we eat about 350 slices a second. That's amore.